Hi, welcome to TeachMath. Sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin kung paano mag-perform ng operations on functions and evaluation at the same time, tulad ng mga examples na to. Okay, so according sa ating previous discussion, so if we are asked to perform operations sa so dalawang functions, okay, so for the sum, the difference, the product, and the quotient, we need to consider the following definitions. So let's proceed sa ating example number one. So for example number 1 let's say we have f of x is equals to x squared minus 5 and g of x is equals to 5x plus 4 let's find the value of f plus g of 3 So mapansin natin this time meron tayong value of x na i-assign as our domain or input sa bawat function so yun yung reason kung bakit magpe-perform tayo ng operation and evaluation at the same time By the way f plus g of 3 that is equals to f of 3 okay plus the value of g of 3. Okay? Meaning, pwede natin siyang isolve sa dalawang possible ways. So, number 1, pwede natin siyang individually evaluate yung bawat function using 3 as our domain or input or simplify or perform the indicated operation muna sa bawat functions before natin siyang i-evaluate. So, kung saan tayo masanay, pwede natin i-perform yung dalawang possible um, procedures na yun. So, sige. Let's try to evaluate the function individually and then let's double check the final answer okay so again the value of f of 3 that is equal or f of x that is equals to x squared okay minus 5 so later i add natin yung value niya sa contents ng function g which is equals to 5x plus 4 so this time let's evaluate the function individually so let's plug in the values of 3 sa bawat function na meron tayo and then later i add natin yung pinaka final answer okay so again, let's substitute the values of x. So we have x squared, therefore it will give us 3 squared minus 5, okay, plus, so yun, ito yung pinaka first function natin. So we substitute the value of x, followed by, so plus we have 5 times, okay, we have 5 times x, which is equals to 3, and then copy the remaining plus 4. So ito na yung pangalawang set ng function natin. So ang next step natin, syempre, we need to simplify. So, simplify natin. We have 3 squared. So, 3 squared means that is equals to 9. And then, copy the remaining minus 5 plus the value of 5 times 3. That is equals to 15. And then, plus 4. So, ang first function natin which is f ay naging 9 minus 5. And then, yung function g ay naging 15 plus 4. So, individually, let's simplify their values. So, 9 minus 5 is equals to 4. So, we have 4 plus the value of 15 plus 4 that is equals to 19. Therefore, 4 plus 19, so ang ating pinaka final answer, that is equals to 23. Alright, so that is the final answer. Therefore, f plus g of 3, okay, is equals to 23. So, yun yung first possible um, procedure na pwede natin gamitin. Evaluate the function individually and then add the final result. Now, try natin yung pangalawang possible procedure na pwede natin i-apply. So again, the answer is equals to 23, right? So let's double check our answer. This time, let's perform the indicated operation first before we um, evaluate the function. Meaning, so ang next na step natin after natin ma-identify yung contents ng ating function is to combine the like or the common terms. So this time, ang common terms lang naman ay yung mga constant terms. So let's combine their values. Therefore, it will give us x squared. Okay? And then let's copy the linear term which is plus 5x. So wala naman na siyang common term. And then let's um, solve negative 5 plus positive 4 that is equals to negative 1. Therefore, f plus g of x is equals to x squared plus 5x minus 1. So ang pinakalas na gagawin natin is to plug in the values of x. So ilalagay na natin yung value ng 3 sa bawat x na meron sa function na to. Therefore, it will give us, so let's substitute, we have x squared or the value of 3 squared. Okay, so we have 3 squared plus 5 times x, another x, so we have another 3, and then minus 1. So individually, simplify natin siya. 3 squared, that is equals to 9, so that we have 9 plus the value of 5 times 3. So let's multiply their values, 5 times 3 is equals to 15, and then copy the remaining minus 1. And then that's it, so let's simplify this, we have 9 plus 15 minus 1, so, 9 plus 15 is 24, minus 1, that is equals to 23. Therefore, the final answer is equals to 23. Alright, so let's proceed to our second example. So, for problem number 2, let's say we have this function f 
is equals to x squared minus 5 and g of x is equals to 5x plus 4. Now, let's find the value of f minus g of 5. Okay? Again, this problem is also equals to so f of 5 okay, minus, so this time we'll go subtract tayo, minus g of 5. Alright, so again, kung ano yung procedure na masanay tayo, pwede natin i-perform yung bawat, uh, yung mga procedures na na-mention sa previous problem natin. So this time, let's perform operation muna, or the indicated operation before natin i-evaluate, okay? So again, the contents of function f, we have x squared, okay, um, f of x equals to x squared minus 5, and then later, so subtract natin siya sa value of g, and then g of x equals to 5x plus 4. Now, before tayo mag-evaluate, let's combine common terms muna. Okay, para sa problem natin na to. So, again, same with um, our previous problem. So, ang ating mismong mga i-combine lang is yung mga com constant terms. So, we have negative 5 and positive 4. Therefore, the final answer is x squared. Okay? And then, we have this copy na minus 5 or negative 5x. And then, we have negative 5 minus positive 4. So, negative 5 minus positive 4, that is equals to negative 9. Alright, therefore, the difference of f and g, we have x squared minus 5x minus 9. So, after that, pwede na natin i-plug in yung value na ating input or domain, which is the value of 5. Okay, so bawat x na makikita natin sa ating mismong um, equation or function. Therefore, this one will give us, so we have x, therefore, to give us 5 squared. Okay, so we have 5 squared minus 5 times another x. Okay, therefore, to give us 5 times 5. And then, copy the remaining minus 9. And then, isimplify natin tong term na to individually. So, 5 squared, that is equals to 25. So, we have 25 minus, or we have this 5 times 5. Okay, that is equals to negative 25. Negative 25, and then, copy the remaining minus um, 9. Okay, so we have minus 9. Now, simplify natin para sa ating final answer. 25 minus 25, that is equal to 0. Therefore, 0 minus 9, the answer is equals to negative 9. And that's it. So, that is the value of f minus g of 5. So, sa ating example number 2. Alright, so let's have another subtraction for example number 3. So, for example number 3, let's say we have this set of functions. f of x equals to 2x minus 5 and g of x equals to 4x plus 5. Let's find f of 3 minus g of 3. So, again, yung notation na meron tayo right now, in inverse ko lang sa mga previous problem na meron tayo. So, f of 3 minus g of 3 is also equals to f minus g of 3. So, yun ang iibig sabihin nung mga symbols na meron tayo right now. Now, again, pwede tayong pumili kung ano yung mga um, kung ano yung procedure na gagamitin natin para sa problem na to. So, again, the function um, f, so, encode natin yung values niya. So, f is equals to, yung first function, that is equals to 2x minus 5. Alright, so later, so subtract natin siya sa contents ng function g. g is equals to 4x, okay, plus 5. This time, let's evaluate the function individually. Let's plug in the values of 3, okay? And then, isubtract natin yung pinaka-final answer. So, let's substitute. Therefore, this one will give us 2 times x or 2 times 3, okay? And then, copy the remaining minus 5 minus the value of 4 times x or 4 times 3. So, we plug in natin yung value ng 3 and then copy the remaining plus 5. And then, let's simplify. Okay? So, 2 times 3, that is equals to 6. So, that is equal to 6. And then, copy the remaining minus 5. Alright? So, minus the value of 4. Okay? 4 times 3. So, 4 times 3 is equals to 12. And then, copy the remaining plus 5. Okay, so individually, isimplify natin yung values na meron tayo right now before natin isubtract yung values nila. So, 6 minus 5 is equals to 1. Therefore, we have 1 minus 12 plus 5. So, 12 plus 5 is equals to 17. Alright, so 12 plus 5, that is equal to 17. So, we have 1 minus 17. Therefore, the final answer is equals to 1 minus 17, that is equals to negative 16. And that's it. So, that is the final answer. That is the value of f of 3 minus g of 3. Alright, so let's proceed to multiplication. So, for example, number 4, let's multiply the functions and evaluate at the same time. So, f of x equals to x squared plus 3, 
and g of x equals to 4x minus 3. So let's find the value of f times g of negative 1. Okay, so again, this problem okay, is also equals to f of negative 1 okay, times the value of g okay, times the value of g of negative 1. Right, so again, multiplication. Therefore, we need to multiply the functions and evaluate the values. Okay, so again, the value of function f. So f is equals to x squared plus 3. So, we multiply natin si x squared plus 3 kay function g. g is equals to 4x minus 3. Alright, so pwede natin i-apply yung FOIL method for this one. Pwede natin i-multiply individually yung mga terms na meron tayo or i-evaluate ang functions individually para mas madali yung magiging procedure natin. So by applying evaluation before um, the indicated operation, so it will give us x squared means we have negative 1 squared plus 3 as our first function. Okay? times the value of g. So for g naman, we have 4 times. So we have 4 times x, which is negative 1, and then copy the remaining minus 3. And that's it. So individually, let's simplify the functions before natin i-multiply yung values nila. Alright, so it will give us negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is also equals to positive 1, and then copy the remaining plus 3. Okay, so we have 1 plus 3 times for function g naman, we have um, this. We have 4 times negative 1, which is equals to negative 4. And then copy the remaining minus 3. And that's it. So let's simplify the terms individually and then multiply the final answer. So this one will give us 1 plus 3 that is equals to 4. Okay? So we have 4 times the value of negative 4 minus 3. So we have um, negative 7. So we have negative 7. Therefore, the final procedure, 4 times negative um, 7, so the final answer for the given problem, that is equals to a negative number. So the final answer is equals to negative 28. So 4 times negative 7 is equals to negative 28. And that's it. So that is the final answer. Okay, so let's proceed to division. How about example number 5? So for example number 5, let's say f of x equals to 3x plus 2. And g of x is equals to 2x minus 4. So let's find the value of f over g, okay, or f divided by g of 3. So again, this problem, okay, is also equals to the function f, or f of 3, okay, divided by or all over the value of function g of 3. So let's simplify. Again, f is equals to 3x, okay, plus 2 divided by the contents of function g, g is equals to 2x minus 4. Okay? So since hindi na natin pwedeng i-simplify pa yung function na meron tayo right now, pwede na tayo mag-perform ng evaluation dito. So let's plug in the value of 3 or let's substitute. Okay? So this one will give us, okay, that is equals to 3 times x. Again, x is equals to 3. So we have 3 times 3. And then copy the remaining plus 2 divided by Okay, 2 times x, again x is equals to 3, so we have 2 times 3, and then copy the remaining minus 4. And then after that, let's simplify. So by simplifying this one, it will give us 3 times 3, okay? So 3 times 3 is equals to 9, so 3 times 3 is equals to 9, and then copy the remaining plus 2, all over the value of, okay, 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and then minus 4. So that is equals to 9 plus 2. So 9 plus 2, our numerator is equals to 11. Okay? All over the value of 6 minus 4, that is equals to 2. And that's it. So again, since fraction siya, kailangan natin siyang simplify. Okay. So therefore, the final answer is 11 all over 2. Or, in decimal form, we have 5.5. And that's it. So that is the final answer. It's either 11 all over 2 or 5.5 in decimal form. And that's it. So that's the concept um, of operation on functions and evaluation at the same time. So next topic is all about the composition of functions. So what if we were asked to evaluate function okay, using another function? So that is the concept of composition of functions. So, uh, that's it. So I hope you learned something new. Thank you and God bless.